T-minus 45 seconds to lift off. Vehicle switching to internal power, T-minus 27 seconds, and the first umbilical tower has separated from the booster. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. The auto sequence has been initiated. Launch command has been issued. Second umbilical tower separated. And we have liftoff. Lift off of Progress 83, the next vehicle in the supply chain to the International Space Station. Good roll, pitch and yaw program reported from Baikonur. First stage performance reported to be nominal. Good vehicle stabilization reported. Good chamber pressure reported on the first stage. First stage performance reported to be nominal. One minute and 22 seconds into the flight, the Soyuz booster is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Flight is reported to be going good, going by the book. Good structural parameters reported from the launch engineers in Baikonur. One minute and 45 seconds into the flight, everything reported to be going well. Standing by now for first stage separation. Good pitch ro and rotation nominal being reported from Baikonur. First stage separation confirmed. The four strap-on boosters have completed their job and dropped away at 29 miles in altitude. Second stage engine is up and burning. This will be about two minutes and 39 seconds of st second stage performance. Flight controllers reporting everything operating nominally. The Soyuz booster traveling almost 5,000 miles per hour. Again, the second stage will last until about the four minute and 48 second mark into flight. All parameters reported to be nominal from the blockhouse in Baikonur as we approach the three minute mark into flight. Confirmation of launch shroud jettison. The rocket's altitude now about 49 miles high, traveling at a speed of 5,203 miles per hour. Second stage engines reported to be operating nominally. Getting a view now from the Soyuz booster. Again, all the vehicle parameters reported be nominal. Again, second stage is engines are reported to be operating nominally.
coming up on the four and a half minute mark into the flight. Standing by now for second stage shutdown and second stage separation. Again, you're looking live now from a camera on the Soyuz booster. And we have second stage shutdown and separation. Second stage. Third stage engine is up and running. Everything looking good. Now traveling just over 9,500 miles per hour and 100 miles in altitude at the five minute mark into the flight. Now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz third stage, the engine will thrust and burn for about four minutes. All structure parameters still reported to be nominal. Good third stage engine performance reported. Coming up on the six minute mark into flight. Third stage performance continues to be solid, propelling the Progress 83 cargo craft into its preliminary orbit. Again, you're getting a view from Progress with the solar rays there at the bottom of your screen. Six minutes and 30 seconds into flight. Third stage engine still burning nominally as the progress heads towards its preliminary orbit on its journey to the International Space Station, delivering about three tons of cargo. About two minutes of powered flight remaining. Again, you're seeing a view from the progress. <laughs> Third stage performance still reported to be going well. Seven and a half minutes into flight, the progress and the Soyuz now traveling 14,000 miles per hour, 124 miles in altitude. The trajectory flattening out, about one minute of powered flight remaining. Now at the eight minute mark into flight since the progress lifted off, progress now traveling almost 15,000 miles per hour and 125 miles in altitude. All structure parameters still reported to be nominal. Again, all structural parameters still being reported to be nominal, and we will stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Third stage shutdown confirmed, and the spacecraft separation confirmed. Next step will be the deployment of the solar arrays and navigational antennas on Progress 83. And we just got a view of the arrays deploying.
And again, getting reports now from the Mission Control Center in Koryoff that the solar arrays and the antennas have deployed. The Progress 83 resupply spacecraft now officially in its preliminary orbit, which begins its two-day journey to the International Space Station to deliver about three tons of cargo. We are now getting our first view from an external camera on the Progress 83. This is the first test of the telemetry stream you see on your screen now from the Progress 83 back to the control center in Koryov, where the Russian flight controllers now begin their work to follow the journey of the Progress 83 to the International Space Station. Recapping the milestones from today, liftoff occurred on time at 12.15 a.m. Central Time, which was 11.15 a.m. at the launch site in Baikonur. The Soyuz 2.1A booster lifted off from Site 31 in Baikonur and performed a series of three nominal burns to propel the progress into its preliminary orbit, where it is now. Progress 83 is officially on its two-day 34-orbit journey to the space station, where it will dock to the Svesta module on the aft or back end of the station's Russian segment Saturday, February 11th at 2.49 a.m. Central Time, 3.49 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll have live coverage of the rendezvous and docking starting at 2 a.m. Central Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Progress 83 will stay docked to the station for the remainder of the year. With Progress 83 safely on its way to the National Space Station, that will wrap up our coverage for today. This is Mission Control Houston.